afternoon guys. Afternoon folks. I've got a few hours before work today, so I thought I'd uh, take the dog for a quick walk. The usual route. I'd stop halfway. Um, I recently bought an Alp kit brew kit, so I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee, which is I've never done that before on this walk. secret for you here. I'm sure you know what geocaching is. If not, basically a worldwide treasure hunt. And there's one. Just there. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Go on, hop! What an idiot. What an idiot. There it is, Earlswood. I'll explain to you, I've um, bought a chair to take camping. Uh, a little luxury because there's nothing worse than when you get to your final destination after a big old hike to have to either squat or sit on the wet floor or just lie down in bed because you've got nowhere else to go. So I've did a bit of research um, and spotted a chair that looked amazing. Well, the Helinox One camp chair. Then I saw the price and I was amazed. It was uh, £85, but I'm not paying that, it's ridiculous. So I did some research um, and on AliExpress, the, the Chinese eBay, uh, I found one um, direct from China. It took a month to get here, but it was £17. <laughs> And I can't see that there would be any difference at all. I've not seen a Helinox, but it would have to go a long way to be better quality than this. Even the stitching pattern on the chair, on the um, on the seat itself is the same. The only complaint I had with it was that the elastic was a little too long when you're snapping all the aluminium beams together. I'll go over here. Um, but that's fine. Just pull the end out, tighten the knots a little bit. And leave it like that. The bag is pretty poor. I wouldn't bring that with me. I'll put it in a dry bag. So it all just snaps in. No stresses. No issues whatsoever. No real issue. Tips you out the front a little bit. But otherwise, you're laughing. Right. I think it's um, just over 800 grams. I wouldn't use the bag, I'd just use that for here. So, I'll make use of the chair. This is the Alpkit Brew Kit. And I'm not going to go through details of weight, and it's everywhere. It's all over the internet. A, a mesh style bag. It's nicely made, although it fits in a bit tight, so it's a bit of a mission to get out. So what you get is your lid, your pot, which has got markings on the inside, if you can see that. Yeah, um, up to one litre, but I think it'll do 1.1. The handle's obviously Hot cosy comes with it. And you'll be able to see in there, uh, like the heat sink and the baffles, just to take the heat nice. Um, you get your burner with an igniter, piezo, whatever you, however you call it. It's fine, it's fine. One of the criticisms I had straight away was um, to get the pot on the base. It's got three pins which relate to the three uh, tabs there and you, you turn it on and obviously it's not going anywhere 
but when it's on, especially with gloves on, I'm wary that you can't just twist off. Often it takes, it unscrews it from the gas or take the whole lot with it. So with gloves on, you've got to grab what's on fire to twist off. I've not had any issues yet, and maybe I'm being a bit over precautious, but an issue I have. My other issue is 250 gram um, pots don't quite fit inside. It all fits nice together, so when, oops, when the burner's upside down, it's nice and solid on there. And in the pot, you just see, look, it sits proud, the 250 that is. So that won't quite go on, so it rattles a little bit in your bag. But they say 230 will fit, but it's easier for me to get 250s. The screws on as normal. On. Pot on. The markers inside here, I know that. The bottom one, what's that? 250 mil is about a cup of coffee's worth. And then as simple as, it's set up for right-handers, which annoys me as a lefty. As simple as, turning the gas on. And there she goes. Lid on. Now I'm going to time it. I do not care about time to boil water. It's quick. Compared to JetBlue, I don't know. It's 20 seconds in it. Who cares? Is it worth £70 more for a 20 second cooker boil? It's up to you. It is not worth it for me. So this thing is £35 delivered from Alpkit. It's not a jet boil, that is for definite. Um, but what's in a brand? I showed you the chair. There's not a lot in it. I'm sitting comfortably in boiling water. And I've saved myself from a jet boil, maybe 70 quid and from this chair, uh, 60. So I'm sitting pretty. And these are just having to snoop around. She's cute. Ah, and also, whilst I'm here, I'll show you what I have to drink. Just get my bag. I don't like tea. So I buy back biscuits from the basic camera. Um, coffee bags. So I'll show you what I wanted. It's basically a tea bag with coffee. <laughs> it smells amazing. Uh, they're not very strong, so I don't have milk, which suits me really. Uh, it means I don't have to carry milk. In fact, look at this. You know. It's a ro rolling boil. You can see how quick it was. If you want quicker than that, go ahead and spend the money, but I don't think you can knock that. With this coffee, it's not very strong. I just leave the tea bag, uh, tea bag, coffee bag in, and I drink straight from the pot. I'll show you in there. And have a black no sugar. A bit too hot yet. So there we go. There's the uh, there's the kit. We've uh, taken something away from it. As I say, there's money to be saved. Um, don't just go straight for the main brands. There is no need. Absolutely no need. That wasn't gunshot. That was not gunshot. Also guys, tune back in around February 20th. We're going to Penny Van, um, doing two nights, and we're making a, another video of that one. Hopefully full of hijinks, banter, tomfoolery, and capers. Capers? Not the ones you eat. Is a caper a thing? Like an adventure, yeah? I don't know. Millsy, where's your stick? Go and find it. Find a stick. Oh my God. <laughs>